What's going on you guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT Champion. So let's take a good awesome look for this fast tuner car for today's custom race on Gran Turismo Sport. So looks like it started out here for this awesome looking car is the Amuse S2000 GT1 Turbo concept by Gran Turismo. Well definitely Amuse uses the Honda S2000 since it's definitely becomes a fully wide GT1 turbo tuner car board so yeah definitely this vehicle is actually become an N600 vehicle because this one can also drive very fast like the supercar sports but definitely it was definitely shown as a premium car since GT5 and GT6 so about the one surprising thing about the hood it is definitely becomes a carbon fiber style board rather than the base color so this is definitely the really good choice of the color since I really gonna go for it is the Monte Carlo Blue Pearl. So I kind of think that the Amuse S2000 is definitely part of the tuner brand but in which it was definitely moved into the Gran Turismo manufacturer section boards because this is might be where it's supposed to be belong to. But probably it was part of a tuner car board so let's just get ready to go for the first race. So probably let's just gonna go in on Tokyo Expressway Central Outer Loop. So this is might be giving you a little bit of test drive and well maybe it, this is gonna be an awesome interesting race board. Supercars versus tuner cars for only one S2000. So I might be able to go with the grid start and probably do five laps. So this is might be pretty okay board. So a porting category is going to be at the N600. So this is might be pretty good for it. So probably the look on the interior view on the inside because red letter was definitely tinted on the inside board. Well, definitely the steering wheel is definitely put with a Momo steering wheel rather than the Honda S2000 steering wheel board. So looks like this is going to be quite good to engine revved up for it time to go for the japanese night racing with the supercars so i kind of think that there's another amuse s2000 gt1 turbo joins in for the race so i might be able to go with the sports soft tires by recommend well it was definitely surprised to be deducted with a range of performance to be at 100 by negative well I kind of think that this gear transmission that has seven speed gear so this is might be pretty good to go so well probably seven gear is works perfectly for the s2000 so let's begin and let's go for the Tokyo night race well better take a look at this, at this nice view well, it also has two gauges on the right. Well, that might be able to be quite shown for it. So this is, might be a fast tuner car to be, to be racing up with the supercar for it. So let's just go and keep it steady for it because this attempt is going to take a little bit of a high speed tuning stakes for it. Okay, keep it nice and steady and Try to make a little spready pass on it. The Claren 650S is definitely in the way. There you go. Way to keep this speed up to go. Now passing on over to overtake the Honda NSX. Now take a little dive in turn for the second tunnel to try to overtake the Enzo Ferrari. out of work. Very nice. Now comes into the dirt tunnel and then going on to the last part of the stretch. Well, definitely I'm saving this for the final lap work because it only takes the five laps. Well, definitely this is a pretty good car to have a little race for the supercars for this segment board. But this is definitely quite pretty 
pretty good for the aerodynamic wing part in it and the front splitter on it. But this is going to be quite relatively for a tuner car that could probably give him a little hard challenge to race up against the hypercars, just like the Lamborghini Vinio. Super tuner cars are definitely quite very efficient to beat all the supercars and hypercars for this segment for it, but each of the races is definitely quite ever yet to be shown for. Well, I'm just gonna to enjoy riding this S2000 tuner car for it because the Muse made a good successful gun for the on the S2000 to be made as a sweet tuner car. Probably just like the Chevy Nova and the Ford Mach 40, they are also part of the Gran Turismo Award demo. So let's see what, what I got for it. Well, probably other tuner cars like the high-end performance. AEM, well, probably AEM only has one S2000 for the same car, but different one for it. But what about the Lee Emeria RX-7? That was definitely part of a tuner car for it. Well, I kind of think that tuner cars was definitely specific for so only this vehicle will be able to be shown. Well, I kind of think the high-end performance G37 is quite very cool looking but it is definitely black color. Now coming on in on the third lap, looks like I'm coming in closer in to make it approach it to overtake the LaFerrari. So definitely if the tuner cars are gonna be as a group N600 car, well, I kinda think that this is might be a hard question to tell. Well, probably supercars always love to be enjoying the race. That might be a little bit big if, because this is kind of giving a little time to tell. All right, now it looks like I definitely made a good successful overtake on the white S2000 GT1 Turbo. Now let's go and catch up to the La Ferrari. What can I say? Tuner cars can also drive fast like hypercars for it. It will give it a much better choice of a, a big green twin. Fourth lap and welcome to the school of hard run. Yeah, definitely that was quite giving the excellent choice for close thing and school of hard rocks. Okay, so definitely I'm just showing the total of miles this mileage for it. So I'm just checking on the 100 miles for it. Well, definitely I also seen the the kilometer distance from the interior so it is definitely up to 230 kilometers but probably I'm also to stick with the mileage because miles is only used for the US and kilometers is only used in Japan and Europe well definitely this S2000 can also use by drifting well I kind of think that we're at the grab some parts compound tires because this S2000 is qualified to go for the drift trial. Final lap is on its way because this is going to be another night race going on in Tokyo Expressway. Well, probably I might be able to go with this outer loop to the next round because this is going to be quite going in for an all night race. Well, I kind of think that the, the same S2000 is quite overtaking in second place. 
I think that Hypertarch can also need to catch up for more. It needs to have a little bit more speed to catch up to the tuning car, of course. Well, actually, N600 also has three division pipe ports because the tuner is definitely part of the section for it because, like the hypercars, of course. Okay, so try to keep a steady turn and then another S2000 is going to be overtaking in, so I had to be staying on first. Last stretch for the right turn, three turns. Okay, so definitely this one should be using as a drift point into the last part. Wow, looks like that's a pretty good night race. One for the blue S2000. Wow, I kind of think that was quite pretty amazing for it. First tuner car just finally comes in first place to beat the supercars and the hypercars. Well, definitely the Porsche 911 GT3 RS and the La Ferrari are jet surprisingly amazed. Well, looks like that's a pretty good run for today. So, looks like that's a good first place earnings by going in by now. So, looks like time to go in on East for the next round. So, I kind of think that the S2000 is definitely quite pretty amazing for it, but it is definitely drive pretty fast, but it has a good turbocharged performance for it. It was definitely has some good aerodynamic wing parts and some blunt sprinters could be able to be good to be used. So this is going to be one way ticket to see if this, if the hypercars are really want to challenging the tuner cars. Well, maybe somehow it only calls it the super slash tuner car sports because this is definitely quite giving a little bit a name for it well looks like it's time for a little east outer loop for the next race so let's begin and let's go again for it but this time different section in tokyo means a night race to remember Well, good thing that Sports Soft Tires is definitely quite giving a recommend for use. Well, I kind of think that this might be able to use with the Sports Hard Tires. Now, let's go and keep this straight up and looks like here it is. 7 speed transmission is going beyond fast. Oh man, I kind of think there's a pink S2000 that's definitely almost like a Super Beast car from Too Fast to Furious. Well, maybe everybody has already done the fine exact replica of her car. Okay, so let's just keep it careful. Oh yeah, definitely the, the windshield banner is definitely changed differently for it. Well, it is quite beastly as a standard car in each different specific way for it. Well, I kind of think that the same car has a premium car. It can also have a different windshield banner for it. Let's go back in and keep the race up and going. Now, her at the make a little sweaty pass on the Chevy Nova and the Lamborghini Huracan. Oops. I kind of think that this is going to be giving a little bit of hard time to keep it faster up and go. Okay, there you go. Whoa, better have to watch out for the purple charger. Well, I kind of think that the Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat is definitely has the purple color in it. Well, maybe I should probably get it from the Grand Central to the next one. Okay, so take the right turn. Make an inside overtake on DB11. That's better. Now only got a few more cars to be overtaken on the small, long-weighted straight. So this will be 
able to be catching up to be reached up to be almost at 300 kilometers. I'm just going to have to check on the number of kilometer distance on the S2000. Well, definitely it is 181 miles. There you go. 300 kilometers means 187 miles per hour. That's pretty good to be able to get to be compared. So definitely compared to the total of mileage distance, miles per hour and kilometers is every, every yet to be compared to be quite shown the difference. Well, I'm just going to give, give this a little example when putting on a hood. Hold on. So let's just kind of check and see that the difference is on each distance when using a, a S2000 with a kilometer meter on. So this is my being able to be quite giving a little experimental research to see if this might be able to be compared. Okay, so it looks like taking the 175 miles is definitely going in on 282 miles or 283 miles because this is going to be giving a little bit of an example tip for it. Well, kind of thing, if you guys already use the HUD turned off, this is going to be quite ever yet to be shown by using the kilometers for it. Okay, there's that Nissan GTR Nismo coming in in second place. So it looks like the La Ferrari always tries to stay away from super cars because hypercars are the only strongest vehicles in automotive history because the tuners are definitely the second fastest for it. And probably the supercars, well, I think the mid-seconds are the only fastest for it. Excellent. Overtake pass on the La Ferrari. This is going to be so pretty awesome. Tuner cars can also rule Tokyo Expressway all night. This is going to be quite perfectly sure for it because this is going to be so amazing awesome for tuner cars to race the night at, at Tokyo. Then there's several of the rest of the cars coming in on the other side of the highway. Well, I hope the Agenda S2000 is coming in for it because, oh man, looks like the La Ferrari is really getting serious to be catching up for it because it's still got a lot of horsepower than the other tuner car. But even so, can't cannot ruin the race without putting on the no nitrous restricted for it because this is gonna be the standard motorsport racing event folks. Okay, 
Okay, so Aston Martin 177 La Ferrari and Nissan GTR Premium is definitely going at it for it. So let's see, this will give a much more better path to overtake it in for. Looks like the SP Dawson are really getting in for having some extreme challenge for it. Just giving a little ordinary uh, high speed cardio battle. Well, kind of think that cardio battle stands for Tokyo Extreme Racing Grid. Well, definitely, well, Extreme Racer was definitely driven on the highway and, and grip can also take one part of the session for having a point-to-point -point grip race. Okay, time to take some few grips, just definitely might need to have some practice. Well, actually, I'm just gonna have to go with the power slide because I'm just gonna have to take some basics to know for the S2000. Better have to stay away from the lost Ferrari getting overtaken. I kind of think that the Nissan GTR Premium always comes catching up very faster. Well, very faster like the lost Ferrari. Well, looks like this is gonna be one one way ticket to the final lap and it looks like this is where my last stop is going to be. Okay, the La Ferrari is coming back for more. Well, that was a high speed sting. Oh, we still got some seven seats going up in. How did the GTR come pass by it while I'm trying to deal with the La Ferrari? Well, definitely that's a smart method way for the GTR to go catching up the more for it while the two rivals are having a little fierce neck-on-neck -neck battle for first place. Man, definitely supercars are really hungry to overtake the tuner car for this race. This is going to be very Tenth for the Honda S2000 Amuse. Now let's just go on in and keep it carefully for it. Well, I kind of think, speaking of which, I might be able to have two rounds for the race for it because, well, I'm always excited to have Tokyo Expressway at night for using the Amuse S2000 Beach One Turbo. This is going to be very perfect for, for this wonderful segment because taking a tuner car to race at the Tokyo Highway at night. Okay, coming up on the up ramp. Now it looks like taking on the tow boot. Now making the new turn. Always gonna have to use the e brake in case if there's a late braking point going on. That's where you're gonna have to do some drifting points for it. Seriously, looks like the 177 is currently in second place by overtaking the La Ferrari. So, looks like one simple chance to do it. Because this is gonna be one more stretch towards the checker flag and a good successful win. Well, looks like Tuner Cars always comes by by having a race for Tokyo Night Race. Well, looks like the hypercars will really need some more practice for it until the next time. Probably, like probably tomorrow night for having a Tokyo Night Race for it. We're using Supercar Sport. That's how Tuner Cars always wants Supercars and Hypercars for this race. So definitely, this is going to be a good first place earnings by standard default. So definitely, that was a pretty good Amuse S2000 GT1 Turbo concept at Gran Turismo. Well, I kind of think that was pretty amazing for having a little race for it. Well, I kind of think I did a good excitement fun for the S2000 tuner car for it. So, looks like 
next daily workout is gonna be not a 20 million expensive vehicle. Well, kind of thing I also gonna need an Alfa Romeo Mito for it. So, probably next time. Well, looks like time for a mileage exchange for the matter of result for it. Well, I kind of think that putting up the pink colors will be quite good for it. So, P5 Dark Candy Metallic and P3 or P8 Liquid Metallic. Well, that might be very good to do it. So, looks like the third tuner car joins in for it because it is part of the August update for the Amuse S2000 GT1 Turbo. Well, probably this is going to be a good performance of this nice vehicle board. Well, anyway, this is going to be quite excited for this S2000 to be able to be chose for. Well, probably it's still got a lot of good performance to be able to make for. So hold on folks, I'll be right back until I'll be having another short clip. Alright, well, looks like just giving a little bit of short time for it because, well, I kind of think that the power level is definitely all the way up to 4 because this tuner car can also make it go max speed beyond and maybe let's check on it for it. Well, definitely the power level can also to be reduced to be deducted to be by horsepower for it and definitely the weight production can also to be take by a little bit of reduce. Well, probably this one is definitely here for. Well, I kind of think that the Amuse S2000 GT1 Turbo is a Japanese tuner car which has been made by Amuse and definitely also to move in to Gran Turismo to be part as other like Polyphony Digital. Well, I kind of think that the other country is definitely marked Polyphony Digital all over it. Well, I kind of think this is a pretty good tuner car for it. Well, I kind of think that I like the carbon fiber hood because this is an excellent good for a tuner car to have this one for it. Carbon fibers is very good and it's definitely look cooler and awesome for it because this is going to be quite very awesome for it until probably the next tuner car will be able to be shown by update. So this is might be quite very good for the Honda S2000 to go drive very fast with the supercars and the hypercars because this is going to be one excited thrill of a ride to be yet ever built. So folks, I hope you really enjoyed for this Tokyo Night Racing video. Glad that you like it. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. And don't forget the links on the description down below in case if you want to see more. Because this is going to be quite giving a little bit of a long time to take some chill. So... Looks like that's a pretty good Honda S2000 GT1 Turbo made by Amuse and it's definitely concept by Gran Turismo. So this is definitely part of the tuner section on the N600 category division because this is going to be quite good until the next update arrives for it. So thanks for watching folks and I'll see you guys next time to continuing on for the custom race on Gran Turismo Sports and I'll see you guys later. Keep on racing, stay cool.